What's up, everyone? It's ZKP2488 here again, and, um, I, um, hold on. Um, tonight, we're, uh, this is the fourth video of the marathon tonight, and we're doing a, uh, diecast review on Kyle Bush's 2005, uh, Johnny Bravo Kellogg's car. Um, this is the Team Caliber version. Uh, sorry about the background, there's not much Kyle Busch stuff. Three trading cards, a 164, two 164 skill die cast, and then a one, another 124. That's it. In fact, the H you see there, that's the H in Bush on a Kyle Busch on this, on the box to this car, actually. Uh, that's the box to that, so... Um, so it's Team Caliber, so it's a little bit wider, kind of like Spin Masters cars, Spin Masters 164 scale. Uh, 124 scale at the top right, pit stop, ages 5 and up. Just, sorry, you couldn't even, I just said what, and you couldn't even hear me. My voice kind of like went out there for a second. Um, 2005 diecast replica, 5 and up, wow. Uh, I, I understand why, but still. Um, officially licensed by NASCAR, Team Caliber. And then you have the big window there. Continues to the top. Package is almost like 164 scales. 124 scale, Team Caliber at the top there. Hit stop. Officially licensed by NASCAR. Team Caliber. Wait, 2005, Darkcast Replica, Team Caliber, 124 scale, pit stop, officially licensed by NASCAR. Kyle Busch, Johnny Bravo. And these guys don't say, like, how many were produced or anything. Pit stop, officially licensed by NASCAR. Team Caliber, 2005, Darkcast Replica. You know how many times I've said this stuff? Okay, those, the ends are the same thing, so... <clears throat> yeah, almost like a 164 scale. There. So, this was kind of a last minute idea to do this. Uh, I actually wasn't planning on doing this for a while. Sorry, I'm eating chips right now. I hadn't eaten in a while, and it's Last video, whenever I said the time, it was 12.22. It's 12.37 now. Um. Anyway. Uh. So that with the sponsors and stuff. You got five, Monte Carlo. No Hendrick Motorsports logo. But you got Chevy on the hood. Um. Come on. Just put it right there. That ought to work. Okay. Um, good year. Usual contingencies. Uh, the five outlined in black. Um, Kellogg's. CarQuest. GMAC. Quaker State. Uh, you got Johnny Bravo right there with his hands doing whatever. And hold on a second. It's kind of weird. Bottom of the box says Dodge Motorsports for some reason. Oh, wait, no, there it is. Okay, never mind. Ignore that. Also has space for a driver's signature on the bottom. But it's got Johnny Bravo there, NASCAR Tune Racing, Kellogg's 5, uh, Ricky Stripe, Chevrolet logo, side him is the left, Delphi, top, um, the five outlined in black. The other thing that opens on this car is the hood. 
unlike another Team Caliber car I have, it's Kurt Busch, which is like, looks like it's made from Lionel. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, looks nothing like a Team Caliber car, but who cares? Um, okay, uh, the tires also turn. They don't stay that way, though, kind of like these newer ones. Um, so, a red splitter then goes up to a light blue, white stripe, red stripe, white stripe, then blue everywhere. So, that blue on the nose just goes all the way back into, like, those those lightning bolts. Fades to a, uh, a dark blue, and then that just finishes the rest of the red lightning bolts that are over the blue there. I suck at paint scheme. I suck at paint scheme reviewing. Like, diecast reviewing is fun, but I suck at it. Uh, yeah, I got lightning bolts. Uh, the red lightning bolt type things. Uh, go over to the back there, to the back, uh, past the B pillar. Um, goes past the five. Goes over, back down, back over to the tire. On a quarter panel, it goes back over, back down. Between that, between those bolts, is dark blue. Dark blue right there, dark blue right here, dark blue right here, dark blue right here. Light blue coming past the tire, fades through a dark blue right under the five and right at the five, right there. Everything here is blue. Okay, that was kind of weird. Do you guys just see that? Did you guys just witness that? Lights kind of went off for a second there. Um, man, I, sh I should dust these off before diecast reviews. Sit on my shelf for a long time, and that's what most people probably do: is dust them off before they do a review on it. They have dust on them. <coughs> um. So yeah, it's blue on the name rail too. A Kyle Bush. Pro quarter panel blue, neck hood blue, back bumper is all blue. Then right above the stripes there, lightning bolts. That's what I've been calling them the whole the whole time. All that's blue. Around the hood is blue. Top light blue fades to a dark blue. You know how many times I've said blue in this video? Chris got the camera right there. I forgot to mention that on the COT car. There's a camera at the top like they used to. Uh, people like... I don't know. People were... I heard things. People I knew uh, were mad that the COT cars diecast had cameras on them. I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Like, okay. Um... Uh, Red spoiler, and then on the back of that is black. See? Black, red. So, white hood, but as Johnny Bravo Kellogg's, says Johnny Bravo right there. So, a wide car, really wide car. Dang it, so I never can get it. So all that comes up is the hood. There's nothing under it or anything. Take a look at the motor. Chassis. For some reason, there's some tape on there. Don't know if it did that. Put 2005 on it. 2005 Monte Carlo used under license. When it says it right there, piece of tape that says 2005 right over the little note thing that says 2005. Okay. Don't know who did that. <laughs> But that's it. that would pretty much do it. You got to screw, you know, where you screw it into the box. Actually, no, you don't screw it into the box. So never mind. Scratch that. Awesome car. I only have two Kyle Busch cars. Then I also have his Busch series car, um, his Bush Series Lowe's car you see in the background, also by Team Caliber.
you know, wide car. Um, then I have his car's one that remember he wrecked in. Uh, his car's one up there with lightning and mater on each side. Yeah. Oh, my throat. Ever since this morning, my throat has been just. It doesn't hurt. Just when I swallow something, it feels weird. So I know there's something wrong in my throat. I, just, I don't know what it is. Um. I gotta eat my chips. If you understood me, I said I gotta eat my chips. Ah! I love doing it though. It feels so funny. Swallowing with how my throat is. Feels so good. Twelve forty five. Anyway, I'll have to do it. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for